इंजीनियरिंग ब्रांच and i have recently grabbed an opportunity as a product analyst intern in justpay and a data science intern with confirm ppo with ola also i received a offer from oracle financial services as associate consultant and i am a ex uh, former research former researcher intern at isro and also i am a top rated freelancer at upwork thank you from us great 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 so you have been doing amazing you currently uh, have been associated with three companies along with that you are doing freelancing also we'll talk a bit about uh, your freelance journey as well so uh, coming upon to your college life and uh, journey like how has been your college life what you did as a part of your college and how the things went up so um as uh, i have received this um, my mechanical branch it's not my choice i actually is uh, it was one of uh, uh, i got from the uh, from the process only so from the first year only um, i have developed an intuition like um, i will be doing the core only i will be focused on the core but in the uh, in the heart it will always be a coding uh, mind only but after one year the college decided to have some minor degrees to the students who have are uh, uh, the top 1% of the batches so luckily i have been one of the top 1% batches and i received a minor degree in the computer science and uh, from there i i thought no, uh, let's shift the focus from the core to the uh, to the core uh, it branches so from there i started my data science um, journey like i i uh search all over the domains present over like web development data science machine learning and cyber securities and different different things but as a mathematics learner i found a data science a better opportunity for me so from the since since year 1 i am doing the data science i am in the communities i have been doing the volunteer experiences and um doing many pro- various projects and met with different people who are in the data science field so this is throughout the whole four journey i kept on kept on focusing on the, uh, my data science and machine learning journey great 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 so uh, when people are like they're not into cs or it so what you consider to be the most challenging part for somebody who is from a non circuital branch and he's preparing for such tech roles so the uh, there are two th- uh there are two things which i found uh, most more challenging the first is the branch only like many companies has a uh, predefined um, criteria that they will focus only on the bachelors of only computer science and id or the circuital branches like ec electronics uh, air, electricals and the second most thing is there is no proper guide way uh, to you to how to proceed in this um, computer science branch like uh there is a proper road map like you should start with this architecture then you should go for this and for this but uh at uh, like 3 years before uh, like it was something more difficult but now it's available on the um, online uh, all where but this is uh, these are the two most challenging uh, things which i have found like branch and the proper uh, guide to how to proceed to this branch Okay. but still still uh, nothing is impossible as it's uh, mentioned somewhere so yeah everything is possible and yet you have done it so coming upon to the opportunity the process and all so like 
starting from how do you get to know about this opportunity was it an on campus or an off campus opportunity and further we'll discuss about the process like whether there was an online assessment or the number of interview rounds so would like to uh, know more about the entire process for this opportunity so both the uh, uh, both the, my offers from ola and jaspe are both off campus and uh, jaspe has an interesting story behind it like i was doing my transactions somewhere uh, i'm just paying my bills over the phone and i found a symbol rotating over my phone so i found fascinating what is the what's the company behind this and i found this is there is a company known as justpay and i researched it and go to their career site and uh, in on their career site they actually doesn't have any form like an application form to fill they just provide you an email where you have to provide your cover letter resume you have to present yourself on the email itself so i i write or i googled the template sample template to uh, to for the applying role and i just mail and i strategically mail it like uh, it's monday and mostly hrs used to uh, see the mails around 10 am uh, so i uh, scheduled the time of 10 am to it and i send it um, so after like 3 to 4 uh, four hours i got a call from them for the further processes great, great, great. and uh, about that ola's opportunity so ola opportunity is uh, like i have applied through um, some months before ago months ago uh, on their port uh, i have write them also to their chart some months ago for the data science opportunity at ola electrics ola electrics um, but uh, as the ola is starting its new division that is ola cars so they are building up a new team so the director of the data science team has um, directly contact me over the email for this opportunity so talk me about the process like what were the number of rounds and like how was there any online assessment or just the interview rounds and like what was focused upon these interview rounds so interviews depends upon the team you are uh, going in so at jaspe i am going for the product analyst intern in the data team so mostly all the interviews and processes depends uh, is based on the data thinking or analytical skills so the first round was online assessment where there are around uh, 30 questions and you, which you have to complete in 25 minutes and in that there will be a sql questions as well and there will be analytical question where data interpretation and all these things after you clearing this round there is a uh, data thon conducting between the 50 around 50 participants who cleared the online assessment round in that data thon round it's a one day hackathon type only like from the uh, morning 10 am to night uh, 8 pm evening so we uh, we are given the rea- uh, real data from their own transactions and we have to provide three answers to a uh, three answers to a particular three questions where they, we have to build a dashboard and we have to provide a uh, uh, on analysis of the data after completing that round we have a we have t- uh, it is to be two rounds uh, two technical rounds but for me it has only happened one round only with the senior uh, senior product manager and so it it was total uh, technical plus hr Okay. and uh, if we talk about the ola so in ola uh, we are given an online assessment where uh, we face to face the director has given us the data set and we have to prepare the jupiter notebook okay. in front of him and he allows to google stack overflow anything you want you don't have to remember the syntax he just want the presentation of your skills your analysis and after that a short telephonic interview and that's it Great, great, great. So the both the processes were like uh, through emailing and uh, applying on uh, the careers portal or so, and both of them were off campus. So that's great to hear. Yes. Like that would give some hope to people who are currently facing like who are not receiving a test link or who are struggling in who are in the struggling phase and are not able to make up to the things. So definitely that's a motivation for all of them. Now talking about your preparation strategy or your preparation journey, like how do you prepare for roles like uh, data scientist and like what all projects you did in your college or like how those projects helped you land these offers. Like how you started so, with this data science journey, basically. 
yeah so first i have uh, first i research about what is data scientist like first i have to be very sure that this if i uh, proceeding with this uh, domain uh, i should not feel uh, regret that i should choose another one so first i have explored each and every domain and found data science to be one of my part so in that first the first thing which should be done in the data scientist is mathematics so i start with the statistics and probability to understand the basic uh, structure of the data science then i will go then i go with python and then i go for uh, uh, different libraries of data science uh, data science and found a uh, beautiful website known as kaggle.com which is basically meant for the uh, preparation of the data science like we have a geeks for geeks for the uh, dsc questions so we have our kaggle.com we we can you can practice data science so you can um, many of them create projects from their kaggle.com uh, as well so throughout the three years i have not uh prepared for the dsa because i was uh in uh, inside thinking that dsa is not required for the dso but i was wrong like so but it was not too late for me for uh, it, it is in the third year so i start preparing for dsa as well because in both the uh processes i grab they asked uh, ample questions of dsa so many things like uh, dsa is not required when we are preparing for the data science but it's required it's um so this is the whole journey uh, like this is the whole preparation which i uh, took like um, preparation from the kaggle.com youtube uh, there are many channels available on youtube and there are many online free resources available as well if we talk about the project so first i uh, start with two or three um, basic projects like heart disease predictions and uh, image predictions but nowadays these projects can't be taken over the resume as told by my uh, mentor so he was telling that these are the basic project you should ha- uh, should create a interactive project so um i used to th- the think like many of the projects are my thought process only like um if i want to uh, like one of the project is voice sentiment analyzer like how do we talk what would be impact on the people so it is the whole project based on this and this project has taken um, took around 20 minutes in all the interviews i have taken till now so every interviewer asks uh, me about this project only so till now i have created around 10 to 15 projects uh, of various domains machine learning deep learning natural language processing so these are all the projects Great, great, great. So, like talking about, uh, like you have explored this field a lot, and uh, definitely I would uh, get some of the resources from you, uh, like which resources you followed, and I'll put the links in the description for somebody who wishes to start his or her journey in data science. So, definitely that would be helpful for it. Now, coming up on to one very important part, like being from mechanical. or being from non surgical branch so preparing your resume for such tech roles is also a big challenge so what should be there in your resume if you talk about particularly uh, for a data scientist or uh, for a student who is currently in non surgical branch and is looking forward to such tech roles so what should be there in his or her resume and how he should change it so first of all the main important section should be your skills not your education like um i have developed my skills like i focus only on the skills part over uh, in my resume and achievements with projects so for the particular role if i talk about the data scientist if you uh, talk about the um, latest job portals or you've seen job uh, fairs you will see that big data and all these hadoops and um, different analysis uh, uh, softwares and python and uh, statistics these are most recommended and most um, necessary skills which we require on the resume uh, like i have 20 versions of my resume after that i have uh, talked with one of the data scientist uh, and he told me that you should if you are from the non circuital branch so you should try to put your education section uh, instead of uh, keeping at the top 
you should try to keep at bottom you get get to know that is the your resume is getting failed because of your education or it's basically be, uh, getting failed because of your skills so like after that i have tried around 5 to 10 companies and from which i have got the email of the test link for the five com for five companies so it uh, so uh from that time only i used to keep my education section at the bottom of my uh, resume i sh- i um, the order of my resume is first i put the skills so whenever the hr is looking over your resume first you go over this your skills your projects and the projects should be having the link on the github with uh with well maintained readme pro- uh, readme document over there with then comes to the uh, achievement section then you should have your um education section so this is was my the order of my resume when i was applying for the different uh, tech companies great so i hope this uh, session would be really very insightful for somebody who is looking forward to switch to such roles and who is currently struggling who is in currently in the struggling phase So thank you so much to Shar once again for sparing some time and sharing your journey with us. Uh, at the end, I would like to have one final piece of advice from your end to somebody who is looking forward to such roles. Yeah. So the final advice is like there is no time limitations, and there is uh, no opportunity restrictions. Like the channels of your has given me more. um up uh, has i have seen many opportunities in your uh, channel and i got to know about many of the company which i have never know about and i as and somebody says like that uh, we have a limited time but there is no limited time like if i told my schedule it's like i am a pr of my branch i am doing the majors of my uh, majors in mechanical i am doing the minor i'm presently working as internship and also i am working on the major project of my final year so five things i am doing the at one day so it's not time limitations so you should focus only on your skills and you should uh, follow uh, everyone should follow your channel so everyone should get the opportunity at the right time okay. that is the final advice from my side thank you so much to shar thank you so much for being so generous and coming here once again all the best and wish to see you rising thank you sir This insightful journey of Tushar might have helped you gain some good insights into how you can switch from a core branch to a non-core role, and how can that be done using cold emailing and all. If you like this video, don't forget to press the subscribe button, share it with your friends, and do check out other playlists. You will get a lot of great content on this channel. All the best. Good luck. Bye bye. See you.